taking a look at the Kuratake Gansai Tambi Story Colors. I purchased this set off of Amazon. It's currently going for around $10. And what I'm going to do, I do have some other pearlescent sets here on this channel. You can check some of those out. What I'm going to do today is I happen to have a couple. This is the one I have handy. I'm not 100% sure where the other one is. I have the Fine Tech, and they've just rebranded to like Colico. I have the Fine Tech pearlescent colors in a beautiful little palette that I bought at Paper and Ink Arts, I believe. I say that, and then I think no Plaza. I also have the I want to say 36 color set. And I've done a review of this here on the channel. But what I'm interested in that from this set is the bronze, the gold, and the silver. And I think other than this color here, there's no duplicate within the Gansai Tambi set. So the very first thing we're gonna do, cause this is an unboxing swatch in addition to being a bit of a comparative review, is we're going to unbox it. And it comes in this really pretty little box. Let's see if I can, Get it open. The colors inside are blue gold, so number 901, red gold 902, yellow gold 903, champagne gold 904, light gold 905, and white gold 906. Golden pearl tinted gansai for professional artists and crafters. Ideal for calligraphy, illustrations, brush lettering, and more. Apply water brush with color to activate. Gansai paints may exhibit cracking due to extreme dryness. However, it does not affect their quality. Occasionally, Gansai paint texture may look rough due to tiny air bubbles, which can occur during production, which does not affect their quality. It's like, can I not get this thing open? Am I going to have to wreck this box? Because I don't know if there's like a box within a box. I should be struggling on camera, but I'm trying to get better leverage. You know what? Aha! I was doing it from the wrong side. Oh, y'all, y'all, what are y'all gonna do with me? Big old, big old goofer. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so you get a tray of these. It's kind of similar to the Gansai Tambi, the, the big set tray. And same size, large, although not all the way filled, pants. And just for a quick, quick, quick comparison, I'm gonna open up my beautiful fine text. What's neat about these is they pop out and you can click it, click them back in. And there are some comparative colors. I'd like to get the gold set, but, um, and I have Arabian gold somewhere. I just don't know where it is. And I don't wanna get the gold set because I don't actually use gold all that often. Okay, all right there. Let's go ahead and get swatching. And we are using cotton rag paper today. We're fancy. We are using Canton Heritage Lacrelle or Lacrelle Heritage Heritage. Gotta bring up that high school French. And um, I don't actually really like this paper. So using it for swatches. I don't like how it handles for painting. I have other cotton rag papers I prefer. We're going to not activate this ahead of time because I have found in the past that Tombi paints due to the binder they use which is like glycerin but not it's a type of like glue um they just don't handle pre-activation while they get soupy so blue gold which is still very warm red gold which is almost coppery, yellow gold. And don't worry, I will have swatches of this, like scan swatches of this somewhere. I used to be able to say I'll have them on the blog, but I don't know if this warrants a full post or if I'm gonna go back and, and edit my original Gansai Tambi post or what, light gold. And then they have white gold, which we, that's pearl, y'all. And you guys probably saw me whip out this set to show it off to make y'all all jelly when I was doing the Como Rebbe, the Mo Mozart, Como Rebbe or Mozart. I'm not really sure which 
uh, unbox and swatch. All right, next, we're gonna do a little opacity test. So I know I'm using a Sharpie and it's totally not archival and it's gonna totally ruin this in like a year. But for an opacity test, it's waterproof almost immediately because it's alcohol based. And I could have just grabbed like a Copic and done the same thing. Maybe I should have. So these have had a chance to kind of absorb some of the water and they are definitely more opaque now. So I would say brush on some water. Don't just drip on some water because it will start to melt. It'll start to get soupy and it'll re, as it evaporate, evaporates, it'll re-solidify. But you know, if you're trying to pick it up and get it put away, not always. Okay, wait, I'm missing somebody. Yes, okay. Okay, so light gold is kind of a transparent gold. And Kuretake makes all these really, really, really pretty shimmery kind of things, like the Wink Estellas and the Wink Lunas. And then they also have, those are the brush pins, and then they also have, like, the, the fine liners. So this is the Genzai Tombi when they're wet. I'm trying to... There is some shimmer. I'm trying to capture the shimmer. It's Of course, it's always more shimmer in person. Next, we're going to take a brief detour over to the bronze gold, and I think they call it silver, but they might not, from my 36 color set. And I'm just doing this to kind of compare color. So I'll do it going down this way. Just so that you know what you're getting if you already own the 36 color set as compared to the six color starry sky thing. And I'm using a synthetic brush for a lot of reasons, but one of them is it has stiffer bristles, so it's more likely to pick up some of the beautiful color. I think the only duplicate is, I'm gonna call it pearl because that's what we call it where I come from. So, as you guys can maybe see, the three metallics from the 36 piece Genzai Tombi set are very muted compared to the beautiful bright gold, warm gold. Like they call it a blue gold, but it's still very warm compared to this gold over here which is more like an old gold. And you guys can also see there's a little bit of sedimentation on the surface of the paper. That is fine. I think of that as like a natural part of the process, like important to do. So next we're gonna take a look at the fine text. I'm not gonna swatch them all. I should have, I know I recorded a swatch video of these. It'll get ev edited eventually. I'm just gonna swatch what I think are the comparable colors, which would be D, D, yeah. And um, if I can, yeah. actually, I'm gonna go look for it. I'll be right back. I, I can't find it. I have a mini palette of iridescence plus a gold. And it's a different gold than what's in the set, of course. So um, let's do, An opacity test. And with these, I do find, first of all, the iridescence in these will literally get everywhere. So not everywhere, but like all up in your brush and all up in your water. And it's very intense. And this is just the color set. I think they have a, a six piece gold set, which I would love to try. I just, again, can't justify it. Um, so I'm gonna start kind of try to match them up with the colors from the Starry Sky set. So we've got the silver, well, the white really, the pearl, and it's got a much finer, I know you guys can't see it and I probably can't capture it on video. I will try, but I probably can't. It has a much finer grain to it. There's a little more iridescence. Um, there might be a little gold still left in it just because I haven't washed out my cup because I'm a bad person but there's a little bit of hint. So, so the Kuretake pearl, um, little silveriness to it, 
Whereas the fine tack, it's more of an iridescent. So there's a little bit of blue, a little bit of pink, but not, not, not really like you really have to be looking for it. All right, let's go with a yellowy gold, which I will just do over here because there isn't a direct competition. And I activated it ahead of time so that I could get enough pigment load. I've worked with these before. They don't turn soupy. Well, not as soupy as the Kuratakis. And then we're gonna use the warmer one. And I wish I could find my other little mini palette and my Arabian Gold because then we'd have a pretty good comparison. And the Arabian Gold is beautiful. It's like a very true, in my opinion, a very true gold. Although this one, it's actually um, like yellow green but I think it's a really nice green gold too. So you can probably see that these are a little more opaque and we'll be able to definitely see that after they dry, but they're a little more opaque, especially if you pre-activate them. So there's more coverage. So these are really good to do as your very last stage on your watercolor. Um, they're good to add gold touches, gold sparkle, whatever. I would, <laughs> I would not do these as the first stage because, um, I'm debating whether or not I want to jump up the PG-13. A friend of mine has a really good, a very apt description for glitter in terms of, of crafting and sparkle in terms of crafting. Uh, she refers to it as craft herpes, and it is tr it's true. It's very true. So you want to you wanna be very careful <laughs> with how you use it. But I think... The colors in the two sets I have, these beautiful starry night colors and then these gorgeous metallic pearlescent colors, um, I think there's enough difference that I could see myself using both sets. So I enjoyed this unbox and swatch. I hope you guys enjoyed this unbox and swatch. I'm going to check in with you guys once everything's had a chance to dry and say my goodbyes, but... Okay, we've got them dry. So basically, if you're looking for an affordable way to use watercolor to apply a little bit of, of magic, a little bit of glitter and glitz to your work, for now, while they're still priced under $12, these are a great deal. However, if you're looking, if you're really serious about your glitter, if you really want your opacity, I still really love the fine text. I think they're great. I've purchased both of these out of pocket, so this is as unbiased as I can get. Um, I use these a lot for convention commissions because they add a lot of beautiful iridescence to a piece. In fact, you can even see a little better here. Whereas the three that came in the stock, let me see if I can get maybe a little more now that they've had a chance to like soak up some water. No, they're still kind of anemic. So the set, the three metallics that come in the Gansai Tambi are much more understated than the ones that come in the Starry Skies. I'm not really sure why that is, but it is. So even if you have the 36 color set, if you wanna add some gold, some shimmer, some pearl essence colors, cause you could mix this with other colors, the white gold. Um, and I should probably demonstrate that for you guys, right? Right, that's a thing y'all wanna see, right? Okay, all right. I was just about to sign out and then I was like, oh, that's a good idea. That's a thing people like to know. So we'll do like with like. We'll grab some of this red. I probably should have grabbed my white first because this is going to kind of pollute it. And I'm going to use my dirty craft mat. Actually, it's like a brand new Fiskars. It just stains. And then we're going to grab some of the white. Mix the two together. And ideally, this should give us like yeah, it does. Perfect. Awesome. Fantastic. Okay. So the white gold is included so that you can make, I mean, you could use it as is and it would be pretty, but you can mix it with another color, like a red from the 36 color set. And it'll give you a muted metallic variation like this pink here. And it's, it's somewhat shimmery. So that's a really good way. And the same would go for the fine tack. And I've mixed the fine tack with other colors before, other watercolors before. But um, if you're using a pearlescent color like this, it can be mixed with your other watercolor colors if you don't have quite the color you need. 
So there's no need to go buy a big pearlescent set if you don't want to. Um, I know Yasutomo makes one and I have it reviewed here and Artist Loft makes one and it's not that bad. And I have it reviewed on this channel as well. You guys can check the cards. You guys can check the links in the description below for those reviews. But um, you don't have to have those. You can really mix the colors you need from regular non-metallic colors plus a pearl or maybe a gold depending on what you want. If you want like an interference color kind of thing. So. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you for helping me unbox and swatch these beautiful colors. I'm gonna box them up and get them put away for another day, trying to keep my workspace nice and clear so I can do lots of work today. As always, it was a pleasure hanging out with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you like metallic watercolors, please check out some of my other unbox and swatch reviews here on the channel. And if you're looking for watercolor tutorials, I have a lot of them here on the channel, more in depth than this, but also some really basic ones to kind of get you, get you, get your feet wet, get you started with watercolor. If that's something you'd like to do and uh, you have not been able to do. And I also have some great tutorials, especially watercolor comic tutorials over on my blog at natosoup.blogspot.com. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope to see you again really soon. Bye guys.